Do you wanna smell good? Do you wanna smell good? If you do, stay tuned. Let me know I got you. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become a glow getter. I welcome you. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about on my channel, I primarily talk about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, black owned businesses, as well as everything that feels good to my soul. So if I love it, I'm going to talk to you about it because you might love it too. This is a layering combo video, a video of 20. You heard me correctly. 20 layering combos so grab your snacks and get ready so if you're interested in seeing these 20 layering combos which i have worn recently keep watching So what had happened was, in my previous layering combo video, I left off two major layering combos that was supposed to be in my previous video. So y'all will get that in this one as well as the other layering combos I've been wearing. They're really good, so I think you're gonna enjoy them. Like I said, grab a snack, grab a drink. Um. We're going to see how quick I can do this. I'm not going to linger on any of these layering combos. I'm just going to give it to y'all. I'm going to give y'all the corresponding picture so y'all can see it. And I'm going to give it to you like that. Bubba is asleep. So I'm going to see how many I can get through. So forgive me if I am talking fast. You can pause it. You can rewind. You can look at the picture. Matter of fact, what you really can do is just screenshot or if you're watching on a TV just take a picture of the layering combo you're welcome I have the layering combos written down on my iPad so let's get into them the first one that I left off from the previous video was my goddess of the sea beauty papaya agave body wash as well as the matching body oil which has notes of papaya, agave, bergamot, pine berry, dolce de leche, caramel, I think coconut. It's amazing. I layered that with Latafa Yara. It is a match made in heaven. Y'all can shop Goddess of the Sea Beauty, but papaya agave is off the website. So if you missed it, I'm sorry. I've been warning y'all that it will be gone soon and it's gone but goddess of the sea beauty recently has been dropping her mystery scoop boxes on a website and what that is is you pay 50 dollars and you get eight randomly selected items in a box that are full size so it's like christmas you don't know what you're going to get but you know it's going to be fire so you can use my code Lauren, that is L-A-U-R-E-N, to get you 10% off when you shop Goddess of the Sea Beauty. Goddess of the Sea does have some fall scents on the website right now. I know she has a sweet autumn and a cashmere cream, so go check it out. Next up was my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Exotic Pear Body Wash and the Matching Body Scrub my Bath & Body Works Watermelon Lemonade Body Cream and the Matching Mist, and my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Watermelon Margarita Mist, my Jaffa Perfume, which is by Oza Rige. It's a Middle Eastern perfume, and my Empower Oil by Key Essential Oils. So, my Key Essential Oils Perfume Oil has notes of watermelon, musk, and a hint of vanilla. When you shop Key Essential Oils, you can use my code LOSO15. This combo was giving a playful summer combo. It was giving summery, playful vibes, and I absolutely loved it. Those were the two combos I left off on a previous video. So we're getting into the combos I wore more recently. First up, I layered my Butter Baby Sultry Marshmallow Aloe and Shea Lotion with my Kayali The Wedding Silk Santal Perfume. 
and my gold fluid perfume and my liquid gold perfume. Both of those are dupes for Gentle Fluidity Gold. Gold Fluid is from the Dua brand and Liquid Gold is by Dawkins Aroma Company, which is a black owned business. And both of those are Extra Day Parfums. And I layered that with my Let's F Perfume Oil by Key Essential Oils, which has a vanilla spice aroma. And I was smelling so good. Next, this is a combo that was giving pretty grown going out slash date night scent. And I wasn't going out. This was just a scent I wore in the house, but it smelled like I should be going out. It was giving me Valentine's vibes. But it was my Kish Love Oil. Kish is the sister company to Goddess of the Sea. Kish's Love Oil is inspired by Chloe's Chloe. Plus my Chloe Love Perfume Oil, which I got from a local mall. My Undress Me Oil by Key Essential Oils. My Delilah Perfume, which is by Mason Alhambra. It is a dupe for Delina by Parfums de Marley. And I layered it with my Fragrant Body Oil Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper Perfume Oil, which is inspired by Kay Ali, plus my Bath & Body Works Rose Mist. A combo. If you love rose, if you wanna smell feminine, like a grown woman, sweet, pretty, floral, it was giving. The next layering combo was my Kish Seduction Oil, which is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540, plus my Latafa Vacar perfume and my J'adore perfume by Dior. These I don't think have too many overlapping notes, but they smell really, really good together. They both have fruits and floral. I don't know if it's the same fruit or the same floral, but if you have J'adore Dior and you have Latafa Vacar, Pair them together. The next combo was my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Papaya Agave Body Wash, Body Oil, and Fragrance Mist, plus my Caramel Glacé Perfume by Dawkins Aroma Company, which is inspired by Zerzhoff's Lyra, plus my Hey Sweetie Perfume by The Door Brand, which is inspired by Oriana by Parfums de Marley, plus my golden sand oil, which is a creamy warm scent, plus my finery magnetic candy mist, which is said to be a dupe for Byredo Sundays, which I've never smelled, but that was a warm sweet combo and it was giving, very much so. Try that out and let me know what you think, please. Next up, I use my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Brown Sugar Body Wash, plus my Romance Oil, which is by Kish, that is inspired by YSL's Black Opium, plus my Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume, plus the Icing on a Cake, my Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper Oil by Fragrant Body Oils. That is a combo that is so underrated by me like it's so so good like i want to wear that again this fall that was a scent i wore at night and i was smelling so good i couldn't stop smelling myself and all of those scents go together so well so if you have good girl and you have sweet diamond pink pepper wear them together if you have um black opium and you have good girl wear them together and i could still smell my romance oil the next morning don't play with kish the next Laren combo was another top tier creative combo it was my goddess of the sea beauty strawberry champagne body wash the body scrub and oil plus latafa yara which to me smells like strawberry papaya cream powdery Plus my Bath & Body Works Love Cotton Candy Champagne Fragrance Mist, plus Sunshine Mimosa, the Fragrance Mist, and my Pink Sugar Perfume Oil.
That's all I got to say. The next combo was my Bath and Body Works Strawberry Soda Lotion plus my Ariana Grande Sweet Light Candy Perfume Oil, which I got from Wholesale Body Oils, plus my Candy Love Oil, which is inspired by Escada. I got that from a local mall, plus my Daisy Dream Auto Toilet. It was giving marshmallow fruit salad and I love it. The only thing I have to say about that is Daisy Dream smells so good, but it's not long lasting at all. You have to respray, but it's still a fire combo. Next up was my Love and Romance Body Wash and Body Oil by Goddess of the Sea Beauty, plus my Key Essential Oils Vanilla Passion Body Butter, which 10 out of 10 highly recommend it's like a vanilla and pear is so 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 good plus my key essential oil in the scent empower plus my summer melody fragrance mist plus my ariana grande god is a woman perfume this was giving creamy sweet some of the overlapping notes were melon and vanilla as well as other creamy fruity scents so yeah it was giving creamy and sweet and i loved it next up was my goddess of the sea beauty pineapple berry body wash and body oil plus my opulence perfume by dawkins aroma company opulence is inspired by a blend of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540 Extreme. Top tier. Y'all like, why would you layer that with Pineapple Berry? Because the Pineapple Berry body wash and oil have the fragrance notes of pineapple, cherry, and some other notes mixed up in there. So I said, I gotta, I gotta do it. Then I layered it with my Fever Oil, which is inspired by, y'all know it, Jimmy Choo Fever, plus my Wet Wet Oil by Key Essential Oils, which is like Mandarin, Musk, and Floral, plus my Pink Pineapple Sunrise Fragrance Mist by Beth and Body Works. So, it, it was just giving. It was giving and it was potent, like it was strong. Pineapple and cherry. <sighs> A little bit of plum. Fruit cocktail. Y'all, Bubba's in the room, so y'all might hear her. I'm looking at this next combo like, when did I wear this? <laughs> but um, it was my Bath and Body Works Life of the Party body cream, plus my Sweet Light Candy perfume oil from Wholesale Body Oils, plus my Mad About You perfume oil, which I got from a local mall, which is inspired by Bath and Body Works Mad About You, plus my Daisy Dream Auto Toilet and my Among the Clouds fragrance mist, which I'm still trying to use up, y'all. Um, I know this smell good, but off the top of my head, y'all, I really don't remember this. So I guess it was cool, not super memorable, but I know it smelled good or I wouldn't be telling y'all. Like if I wear something and it's not good, I'm not gonna write it down. That's just me. Like if it's just something basic and it's just like cool, I don't feel like it's worth me telling you. So though it's not standing in the forefront of my mind, I know if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have written it down. So just so you know, that was one of these layering combos where it's like, I'm trying to use up certain products and I feel like something could work. For example, I know Sweet Like Candy has like a blackberry note and so does Mad About You, if I'm not mistaken. No, it, 
it might i know daisy dream for sure has a blackberry note and then life of the party has i know like citrus i think pink citrus and vanilla and jasmine and i know one of them fragrance had to have some jasmine and among the clouds has berries and vanilla so y'all feel me like though it seems really really random it was strategic okay moving on to the next combo which was amazing 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 bubba's looking at me like what is wrong with her i love you <laughs> um this was a combo that i wore to church and i also went to my cousin's housewoman party later that afternoon and i smell good y'all like this is a combo i would run it back if i could i could recreate this 95 percent but one of these fragrances i actually used up so it can't really be duplicated at the moment but it's so good so i started off with my bath and body works fresh coconut colada lotion which y'all i actually really really love that scent for it to be coconut and me not being a, a real true coconut girly i love fresh coconut colada it smells so good to me it's sweet and creamy and pretty i love it so i layered that with my madagascar vanilla oil which i got from the scent for you if y'all have not seen that haul go check it out but honestly i love madagascar vanilla more than my first impression so i rated it probably like a 7 out of 10 or something like that no it's 10 out of 10. it is inspired by the nest madagascar vanilla perfume oil it's so so good it's like a creamy coconut amazing a creamy coconut vanilla i should say it's amazing then i added a little a dab just just a little of my soleil blanc oil because i didn't want to go too coconut too sunscreen bronzy vibe like i just wanted a slight little touch of oomph so i added just a little of my soleil blanc oil which i got from wholesale body oils plus my vanilla 28 oil which is inspired by k ali's fragrance and that was from fragrant body oils and my dawkins aroma vanilla pearls perfume which was just a sample size spoiler alert i finished it so that will be in my august empties video plus my cloud fragrance mist and my choco musk perfume the spray y'all talk about creamy talk about a little coconut talk about vanilla y'all if you have fresh coconut colada and you have like vanilla 28 and you have choco musk you could do it if you have the madagascar vanilla and you have cloud and you have choco musk you could do that if you have soleil blanc and fresh coconut colada plus vanilla 28 like you have so many variations and options because i used so many and like if you didn't have soleil blanc and you have the finery sunphoria fragrance you can substitute that like y'all you're welcome you're welcome you're gonna be smelling so creamy and good i was smelling myself all day for it to be vanilla heavy it lasted so long y'all and i loved it i loved it i loved it the next layering combo i started off with my goddess of the sea beauty brown sugar body wash then i mixed 
my fresh coconut colada lotion and my rich black girl body oil which is by bella cosmetics which is no longer in operation but if you have dawkins aroma companies or are familiar with dawkins aroma companies cocoa and cashmere that's what rich black girl smells like so a mix of those two scents plus my empower oil by key essential oils plus my madagascar vanilla oil plus my watermelon mojito fragrance mist by bath and body works and my summer melody mist that was giving sweet creamy watermelon and coconut summer creamy vibes like you might not think to put like watermelon and coconut and vanilla but like it works it really really works and fresh coconut colada has a rum note watermelon mojito has a rum note watermelon mojito has the watermelon summer melody has the honeydew note summer melody has a vanilla note madagascar vanilla is vanilla has the coconut which goes with the fresh coconut colada so y'all see how it's like it seems like an unlikely pairing but it goes together in some way just be creative like that i just like to have fun with my layering combos and i like to be different so my layering combos have been called unique and i love it I love it. I'm probably going to title this video like 20 unique layering combos or something like that. The next layering combo was amazing. 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 It incorporated my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Brown Sugar Body Wash my divinely rooted skincare which is now crescent and herb strawberry cinnamon buns body glaze which is a natural lotion plus my taste me perfume oil by key essential oils which has the scent notes of lemon cinnamon and alpine plus my laud oil by key essential oils which is vanilla and chocolate and my butter baby strawberry pound cake fragrance mist amazing amazing y'all i'm sorry if i use words like amazing a lot but sometimes that's the only thing i can think of yeah unfortunately divinely rated skincare will no longer be selling the strawberry cinnamon buns body glaze or any of their products that they recently have sold under divinely rooted skincare now that they are crescent and herb they are going to have a whole new catalog so it is what it is but if you have a strawberry lotion you can use that if you have a cinnamon lotion you can use that if you have like strawberry pound cake you can use that but y'all I don't use my taste me oil as much as I should because it really really smells good y'all probably are thinking like lemon cinnamon and alpine I don't know if I can really imagine it but it's so 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 good and it's really strong and it's like 15 out of 10 as well as laud like I just always have said that I love laud but I've been sleeping on my taste me oil. I just don't use it as much, even though I know it smells good. Now, on to the next one. This was really, 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 really good. I started off with my Papaya Agave Body Wash as my base, as well as the oil and the fragrance mist. Then I layered it with my Pink Sugar Perfume Oil, which I got from I think hello to natural then i layered it with my love don't be shy oil from wholesalebodyoils.com 
plus Latafa Yara plus Burberry Her. And last but not least, I layered it with my Among the Clouds mist because I'm trying to use it up and it smells so good. And I would run that back. I might run that back this week. Next was another really, really, really good, fun, summery layering combo. My base was my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Passion Fruit and Guava Body Wash and Body Oil. And I mixed my oil with my watermelon lemonade body cream by Bath and Body Works. So typically, if I am using a Bath and Body Works body cream, I would say nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna use it by itself. So typically I mix it with a oil. So I literally did one of them kid concoctions where you do a little bit of this and a little bit of this and rub it, mix it together. Yeah. So just so you know, that's how I did that. So that was my passion fruit and guava body oil plus my watermelon lemonade body cream. Mix it together, rubbed it all over, and both of those are strong, highly fragrant, summery scents. Then I layered that with my watermelon lemonade mist, plus my watermelon margarita mist by Goddess of the Sea, plus my La Top of a Car perfume, plus my little sample perfume, which I actually have right here from the Dua brand, a Citrus Symphony. I did a couple of sprays of that on top. So it was giving fruity, it was giving citrusy, watermelon cocktail, fruit salad. It was really, really strong. And matter of fact, the day I recorded my top 13 black owned businesses for National Black Business Month and everybody said how it was glowing and whatnot, that's the day of that layering combo. So, just so you know, just as a point of reference. All right, the next layering combo, another favorite from this group. I started off with my Yum Pistachio Gelato Shea Butter Sample from Fragrant Body Oils. It smells just like the perfume oil. It's amazing. When I tell you that scent was in my robe the next day, y'all okay so started off with that and i also used my fresh coconut colada body lotion because the shea butter sample is only about that big then i layered it with my soleil blanc perfume oil plus my madagascar vanilla oil i used my dolce and gabbana light blue perfume sample i used my at the beach fragrance mist and my endless sea Fragrance Mist by Bath & Body Works and a little dab of my Yum Pistachio Gelato Oil, which I know is not gonna be pictured because that was for Instagram. And I I give Instagram a lot of the information, a lot of my layering combos, but YouTube, y'all get the, the icing on the cake. Y'all get everything. Like I can't give Instagram everything. They're not my glow getters, y'all are so. You know, I did add a dab of Yum Pistachio Gelato because I'm like, I started off with it. I might as well finish off with it as well. And that was so, so, so good. If y'all have At The Beach and y'all have Endless Sea, try layering them together. And then if you have Fresh Coconut Colada, do Fresh Coconut Colada, do At The Beach and Endless Sea and you won't regret it. The next layering combo was what I wore to church just yesterday. I started off with my Baccarat Rouge 540 body oil as the base. And I also used my Seduction body oil, which is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. What I have to say is, of course, the Baccarat Rouge 540 oil is more expensive, so I'm trying to savor it, but the seduction oil 
feels so much better on my skin than the Baccarat oil. Like, I just want to mention that. And then I layered it with my Red Temptation perfume by Zara, which is a dupe for Baccarat. I layered it with my Baccarat Rouge perfume oil plus my Baroque Rouge Extrait perfume by Mason Alhambra plus my Dua brand Casino Royale Cotton Candy Nights, which is a mix of Cotton Candy de Dua and Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. I was smelling good. Somebody outside of my car yesterday said I smell good and I'm like, thank you. The last layering combo is my scent of the day. Started off with my Goddess of the Sea Beauty Exotic Pear Body Wash and Body Scrub. This has the fragrance notes of apple, pear, brandy, and sugar. I can't wait to wear this more in the fall. I layered this with one of my concoctions, Gingham Heart of Gold, which has the fragrance notes of crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood, and my Butterworks so fresh and so green stardust body oil potion and this smells like green apple this i literally mixed together in my hand and applied it to my skin love this butterworks is a business that's not currently active but i hope that it comes back the founder of butterworks is somebody i went to college with and I want Butterworks to come back so, so bad. I talked about Butterworks in my very, very first YouTube video in 2019, and I just have loved all of her products, so I hope she comes back. But we got the pear, we got the apple, we got a little brandy, vanilla. That's what we started off with. And then I applied my Holly Berry perfume oil, which I got from a local beauty supply store. I pulled up the fragrance notes for the actual Holly Berry perfume on Fragrantica because this is inspired by it. So the top notes for Holly Berry are fig leaf, pear blossom, bergamot. The middle notes are mimosa, hibiscus, and freesia. The base notes are amber, sandalwood, cashmere musk, driftwood, and olibanum. I don't know if I pronounced that right. That is a fragrance note I have come across a couple times and never know how to pronounce it. I need to look it up. Mm, it smells so good. It's sweet. It's kind of fresh. It's feminine. Kind of hard to describe, but I love it. Then of course I layered it with Casablanca. I'm gonna pull up Casablanca's fragrance notes real quick for y'all. Casablanca, the top notes are apple and grapes. The middle notes are white woods, iris and patchouli. And the base notes are caramel, amber, sweet, musk and Peru balsam. Casablanca, might be my favorite Middle Eastern perfume as of right now. This plus Holly Berry, a hit. But I didn't stop there. I then applied, sprayed my J'adore Dior. And I'm gonna pull up J'adore's fragrance notes for you all. J'adore has the top notes of pear, melon, magnolia, peach, mandarin, and bergamot. The middle notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, tuberose, freesia, rose, orchid, plum, and violet. And the base notes of musk, vanilla, blackberry, and cedar. I love this. This is a grown woman, a classic scent. I could see how this is somebody's signature scent. I can see how it has stood the test of time. But J'adore plus Casablanca 
You heard it here first. If you have Casablanca and you have Jador, wear them together and thank me later. And if you happen to have Holly Berry or the perfume oil, I think this perfume has been discontinued. So you might just have to get the perfume oil, y'all. A hit. And then you throw in Exotic Pear and you throw in Gingham Heart of Gold. That's what I smell like today. And I absolutely love it. That wraps up all 20 of these layering combos. I hope y'all were able to push through to the end. If you did make it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not one of my glow getters. I really would love to have you and I would love to talk to you again. Also, please give me a thumbs up. It helps my algorithm and share this video with any and everybody that wants to smell good. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. 